Welcome back to Game Over, guys. Drew's getting ready to investigate and perhaps paw over clues. Who was in the house? Milton! Milton to carve out the eyeball. The room to the left. Milton! Who oh. stole my car? The blood comes from the other side of the corridor and ends next to the body. There's blood everywhere. He was attacked in the other Yeah, they really juiced him. The but there's a blood trail going the other direction, too. Yeah, they, they juiced them all over. Maybe they painted the floor with him. This uh -oh. is too much blood for one person. I hope. Maybe he was a blood mage. I learned that from reading fables. The evidence suggests that the events oh, began yeah. in the lounge. How did Baccarini encounter his murderer? Okay, yeah. so now we need to find clues about the actual attack. Hmm. Oh, is that a wooden leg? Whatever crushed the table must have been really table heavy. Head. Or maybe it was thrown extremely hard. Mm. Invaded by Gugs. <laughs> <laughs> if, it if it turns out to be Gugs, I'm gonna buy you a cheeseburger. <laughs> a Anything from Lovecraft would be fantastic. Tried but, to you know, a gigantic we have to wait until we get there. Four mm. inches in diameter. Oh. Gugs. A little, little pizza burps. Yeah, the little pizza. The tiny, the tiny mouth, scratch the wood. With tiny face, <laughs> tiny food. Eating that tiny food, <laughs> sticking in, stick in your mouth, you asshole. No, I'm Blood just kidding. Like water. <laughs> oh man, we even got little people. The watch. Three watch. Taste it. Blood. Yeah. Blood everywhere. Ooh. What kind of person takes off a wristwatch without unfastening Someone it? Someone whose hand came off? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Taking it off. Did it break during the struggle? Or was it already broken? <laughs> Relax. It's a relaxed matic His windows are boarded up. He was ready for something. Or getting ready for something. I guess he wasn't actually ready since he's... For a this was opened recently. <laughs> Well, I need I need to keep my head clear for now. No, you don't. Alcohol you'll you'll gives save you it for later. Gives you insight. Integrity. What is this waffling? It smells of whiskey. <laughs> Not waffling. <laughs> Still I gave you a clear reason. Indicates <laughs> <laughs> the window was broken from well, the well, well deflected. True. Something under there. It's a gun. You don't know. You have to touch it. How did it wind With up? Little gun hands. <laughs> oh. How many bullets? Not one round fired. It must have happened fast. Yeah. Like a panther jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. An open bottle of whiskey. Ooh. A door in the corridor jammed. Gun. Pieces of glass from the window in the hall. A trail of blood from the no, diner. maybe the gun. Not gun. Pistol, fully loaded. I'd say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room. It was room worth it to piss off Brian. Through the window, Baccarini pulled his <clears> gun, <throat> but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Pulled his hands clean Where did off. The torture begin. Etho. Two pools of blood, one on either side of the door. Looks like. A broken table. The bottle in its side. In blood. Or did you use that one? A broken whiskey glass. A blood-stained wristwatch. With a glass of blood stain show that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. Mm -hmm. That was where his hands were torn <laughs> off. As a result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. That makes sense. How did the body reach its current position? Ancient. Draggy. The trail of blood from the dining room to the broken A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. No. A door. The Blood. Lamp, Blood. Torn off its brackets oh. and blocking the stair. Baccarini, Baccarini, already minus hands, was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to Ugh. complete his macabre diorama. Fuck. Mm. This Baccarini guy certainly pissed off the Thakwa. Ooh, a fist. No. Alright. Ooh. Where are we here? Peanuts? Rabbit turds? All right, Brentos. What is it with Italians oh. and olives? They lap those things up like caviar. I hate olives. 
in I hate chauvinists, but not as much as I hate Italians. <laughs> <laughs> like a true bachelor, he should have put these into soak. God. Hours of Mom was always yelling at me for doing Although at this for stage, not doing I don't that. Think <laughs> too Mom, worried about that. Mom, someone feed me. <laughs> Ooh, wine. Four glasses, <clears throat> two of water, two of wine. Why is he filling up? Oh, hey. I've always been a whiskey man, but I know a good wine when I see one. Yeah, It's from the future. Leftover lasagna. And it looks good. I think I'll just Why take a bite. Two out of three Italian gangsters are great cooks. I'll never understand what the deal is with them in cooking. Food is yummy. The plates and the glasses uh, yeah. leave no room for doubt. Baccarini had company for dinner. There's your proof. We had them for dinner, bro. Get it? Hmm. There's another clue in the sink. You might have incomplete data. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware. From the dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one of the Lasagna. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? Uh, I'm guessing the jam. The door in the corridor. Oh. A broken window. Right. Take a look. No knives you were used. Those are all knives. But not. Oh, they're Ooh. missing. One missing one knife. One knife's missing. The biggest one. It was used for arts and crafts, or it's in the jammed room. That was murder crafts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go into arts the cheese room. Arts and death. Shut from the inside. It opens onto the same room as the jammed door in the corridor. They were thorough. You're, you're sure of that. Maybe it's a bathroom. Maybe he made his dungeoneering check. Mm-hmm. The door in the kitchen oh, locked okay. from the inside. No. It what looks like the bottom of a broken glass, buried a broken whiskey glass, found in the dining. It seems clear that Baccarini and his guests were kind drinking of when the murderer took them by surprise. You were running the out of clues and things. Is, what happened to the witness? There you Did go. They escape? There you still go. in that room. Take Where are they? Are they behind the these two jammed house. doors? A door in the kitchen. A door in the corridor jammed shut. One locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors, which open onto the same Are room, one can't getting? be. Goes, Either Luke. I'm completely wrong, or the witness Milton. is in that room. Milton! But I need Milton, Milton get in here! Those doors. I need this murderer to push this door off the hinges. Stop eating pie in the driveway. Now is not the time for pie. Oh. I thought the bell didn't work. Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? Nobody responded to it. Is that an... In... Is he a vampire? Does he need to be invited? Is that a continuity error? Or did he fix was the open. bell? Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell, so I wouldn't start. Because you pulled the gun when out. I came in, I pressed the doorbell right, and it didn't work. It. Well, in light of the facts, I deduced that it was your finger that wasn't working. What the fuck does that mean? So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? Everything. Someone's still here. What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera. So Alphonse can see all this. What the fuck's a camera? All right, follow me. <laughs> what the fuck is Alphonse? Makes the Baccarini had type. company for dinner. Ooh. Someone from Vermont with the initials Just of like B. Batman. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. They're hiding in that locker room. He served lasagna, Ooh. and after clearing away the dishes, Are you sure it was he lasagna? A yes. Of in the That's not room. the important part. That was when Focus. the burst in on them. Coming through Wind the window, goes. which he broke but with the ah! But the Spider Man! Baccarini, or maybe his He's a menace! pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast, he was disarmed before he could Good. fire. I need this to be more and more focused supernatural. his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the oh! air. Or just someone with judo the skills. The table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. Now he... he span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. <laughs> you know that I sounds no fucked up. He did it, yes. But all the evidence suggests yes. he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. Vampire. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. Ugh. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Ow. Holy shit. Ow, 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 Finally, ow. he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. Hopefully. There, he arranged them to make an altar. 
weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Sullivan found his eyes. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know Ooh, what he did with the okay. eyes. He collects them. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or Jesus, less. man, I just ate. You didn't look around. And you worked all this out on your own, some just by looking. More or less. For protection. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. What? I hope it's the what other person. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. I am admittedly curious. Take a picture of the door. That'll scare him. Ooh, break the door. How uneventful. Nothing. Look up, filled to the gills with eyes. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible. There's a window right here. But you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. Type in something. All yours. Maybe we should find out why it was jammed shut. Perhaps. Well, it's gonna chill. Uh, text him on his phone. Why can't I? There. <laughs> we got a tablet there. You're playing some Candy Crush. I'll get back to him. No, it's a tiny book. The precursors to tablets. Oh! Ooh! Oh, one of these. That went well. Yes! Uh, nothing, that mud. nothing to see here. Jesus. There's at least a million dollars here. Oh, I haven't found a thing. Mm-hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. <laughs> Probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. There's at least a million. At least worth half that a much. million dollars in here. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of dollars. I, wow, it's just a chest full of spare change. I mean, Carlo, gee whiz, who would leave an empty box? But I have to take a <laughs> Sitting in the kitchen. To make the meetup. Friday, same time. This entire same room's place. empty. The house it's is empty. No one died. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> These initials are getting Just to be the place and burn it down. Think of all the pie I, I can make with this money. To <laughs> I don't I mean, think this is some The biggest pie the world's ever seen. Uh, I I the I they called me mad. They just make a giant pie. <clears throat> the driver's license of one John Martinson and John Marston? Osmond Burke. That's a different person. Oh, really? Hmm. Do we know him? Liquid. The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. Oh. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father, who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all oh. his relatives one by one, opened the safe, and got away with a fortune. Well, but is he uh, as a bossy and strong? Like used to. Listen, the rich are just better than all us. All starting to add up, <laughs> isn't it? What is this cultist? Was he getting plastic surgeries? Drew, dodge him! Ah! Oh no! We're in danger! Bob and Weave! Hey, quick time event. Oh, this. <laughs> Good choice, Drew. Fighting pre surgery Voldo. Hey. How can he even see? Get out of here! Just cuff him! Cuff him like a puppy. Ow, ow, ow. Probably should be punching him as you're doing that. Listen, you convicted rapist. Get slapped like a rapist. Oh my god. <laughs> Any more buttons for me? The only thing that can defeat a millionaire is a noir detective. Uh oh! Why would you do that? Why? <laughs> Kill that mummy! You saw him, he came right at me. He was gonna put a curse on me. <laughs> curse to carry this empty briefcase back. out of here. Who's coming back? Him, the monster! Yay, I wanna the see him. Who killed Baccarini? Hey, who's a monster? Although not yet. Oh, get their heads off me, Negro! What was That's he like? For me. Describe him for me. Damn Italians are always racist. He was a monster! Red and black, I mean, his head reached <coughs> the ceiling. He, he tore off his Hello. hands with his claws. It was a monster, a monster. What's wrong with his face? Should I hit him again? Yeah, yes. he's a rapist. 
Nobody likes rapists. You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Racist Good. rapists. Now you killed all your relatives. Burke, You're gonna get punched as many times as they allow me. No documents, note. No suitcase full of absolutely nothing. Same Who is this money for? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Mm. Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, uh, at the docks, uh, birth 42, right, right next to where um, where, where the uh, all Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? It's the third uh, alligator, tomorrow, obviously. Tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow, First, there tomorrow, was one tomorrow, alligator, tomorrow, then a second. Tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow? And then the no, fifth alligator. It's going to be tonight. <gasps> Look at that phone. Uh, oh. Operator. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. Drive him off the pier. Police. Let's go get some pie. There are certain <laughs> types of people I don't allow in my diner. But today, I have no choice but to make an exception. You gonna put him in the meat locker? I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take, take him to, him to the back room. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. I right, call the shots. Okay. Well, no matter what choice you make. Well, at least you got a nice briefcase full of, uh, nothing. Oh, no. oh shucks. Are we taking his nice car? I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. <laughs> Damn it, man. Just let me have my smells. I happen to think I smell wonderful. Although we are friends with people that work in the burger industry. They always smell like burger. Now I want a burger. Drew, hand me a burger. Yes, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect burger. How much more whiskey can we get in us? Through our bloodstream? Ah, oh, Delphine. Oh. oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so Delphine. I thought that... Who are you? Did you crash my car? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late. Ooh, what? Then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... Who's Jim? Jim Dockers. Oh. Jim Dockers. Uh, I'm scared. They anticipated my question. Generalized anxiety. What are you disorder. drinking? Oof. A drop of whiskey. Just a drop. Breathe on me. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> my skin melts when there's whiskey in your breath. Oh! Of all the times you could have picked, did it have to be now? What you mean? What? No! You knew! There was whiskey knew in the whiskey what? jar? What's that gun doing there? In the cop? Mmm... Half-truth? I'd love to tell you, but I can't. It's better you don't get involved. You know, don't you? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Know, what, she think Capone's Capone behind it? got out of jail. Hmm. Where'd you hear that? Chief Jenkins. <gasps> Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was Chief going Leroy. to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas, and in four minutes' time, he'll be snoring in his cell. You know. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to uh, do? Hire a private detective. Who does he hate more uh, than to, uh, I mean, get some whiskey. Uh, oh boy, old jury, jury, jury superiority, superiority. He spent almost twenty years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. <laughs> You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... I'll have to meet new people. <laughs> Ugh. No needs for me, please. I'm fine. Your, your hand in your mouth? <laughs> Get you. My hand? I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. so tasty. What's going on, Elliot? Mm. Did I not sound convincing? We're closed. <clears throat> Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. 
Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. This'll just take a minute. Elliot. Um. Uh, mm, mm. Oh. I said a couple of minutes, Milton. Made a decision. I didn't realize. It's all right. Sometimes it's not really clear what I'm doing. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. Hey, whatever. You're boring. Mm. You do be sad at me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What, what was that motion? No, and it's none of your business. Bumping hands. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Nice. What? It just comes out with the Argyle <laughs> sweater. <laughs> oh! Shots fired. No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of no, duty. No, but Jim really, Dockers. Bill Cosby's rapist. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mister Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. What? There are other factors. Oh. Froyalty. Delphine and I have been friends a long time. I don't have many friends. I can't risk losing her. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. I would have talked about that. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. What? I'm sorry. Nick? <laughs> Forget it. Mm. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't yeah. you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? Mm. Yes. I think it was the happiest day of my life. That bastard deserved it. Maybe it was. Cause based on what mm. I've seen, from that day on it went downhill. Did they find those kids? No. Oh, How do I ah. look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. What the fuck is our plan? Oh, I was... I'm a rapist! Ah, clearly you're the man. I was not paying much attention. Oh, we're going to the docks! That's right. I'm excited. You ready to start rail shooting a bunch of people? Did we forget to end this episode? We're going to be ending it. We are waiting for a break. Oh, I could have could have stopped out of the decision. Oh well. It, it better not to break up the conversation. So people were like, "Why are we talking?" If you say so. Yes, I do. Yeah, I know. Constantly. Brian always thinks he knows best. Don't <laughs> gently brush you. All right. So everything's gonna oh work. Oh my out goodness! Fine. What? You sure it's here? I like your Relax. outfit. I like your coat. It's just a little further. Just follow me. Next time on Game Over, guys, we go to the meeting with Ivankov. Ivankov. The suitcase full of pudding pops.